Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a little update on this, my injured calf, and what we're doing about it. So stay tuned, we've got a very great video, I hope, coming up. Right guys, let's sit back and have a chat all about everything that's happened here. But most importantly for you guys, we're gonna go through how I did it, what I've done, what it means, how we're gonna fix it. So some little tips and tricks there. And then how we're kind of dealing with all of this up here over the mental side of things. How did I do this? Well, basically I didn't warm up properly. A lot of muscle strains and things like that, or tears is a little bit worse, just come from trying to do exercise and things on cold muscles. And that's exactly what happened in this sort of build up um, to what you saw. Now in that video, obviously I seemed to warm up perfectly in it. We did a nice little jog, we did our exercises, we ran for about 8K, it was all fine and we started the session. What you guys suddenly don't see is all the filming work we do and I got super cold in filming some of those sections. And when I went to do my high knees, uh, my calf just got a little bit angry on that high knees because I'd been filming there for about 15 minutes. Suddenly did that on a very cold muscle and it just didn't like it. But I ran it off, the pain went away 100% completely. So I thought, okay, we'll run out 8K, no pain, we'll do the session anyway. First rep, fine, second rep, fine. And then it just gave way a, um, a little bit more, unfortunately. So. Super annoying, had I just been out there doing a session, not filming anything, none of this would have happened. It's not an overuse injury, I haven't been running too much. It's just one of those really unfortunate things, just how we went about filming the video, that meant that I just did that warm up stupidly. <laughs> I, I, I'd never just start a run like that. I should have started again and warmed up again properly. But it's just one of those things, and I'm kicking myself for it, but that's where we're at. Well, basically I've strained my calf muscle um, and the, yeah, there's now a little bit of weakness in that calf muscle. There's actually no loss of power. So me and my physio, I've done a lot of strength tests and seeing how the two calf muscles compare. There's no loss of power. It's not a big deal. This is not a tear or anything like that. Um, so yeah, it should hopefully heal pretty quickly. <laughs> But what does all of this mean? Well, it's basically gonna mean at least a week of no running, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm missing it so much. What does it mean for training for the Wrexham Elite Marathon? Well, hopefully not a lot. We've still got about 10 weeks to go before race day. Yes, we're gonna lose a little bit of fitness. Yes, we're gonna lose a little bit of strength and everything as well, but we'll build back in. Um, and you can follow me through all of this as well in the build up to the race day. So yeah, as I say, unfortunate, but it shouldn't affect anything too much, hopefully. <laughs> So how are we going about fixing this? Well, it's a simple approach for those first sort of one, two, three days after an injury. The RICE approach, which stands for rest, ice, compression and elevation. Rest is pretty obvious. Um, yeah, just doing as little as possible, sleeping as much as I can, because that's when the body is gonna start repairing itself. Then I for ice, um, obviously I've just got my ice packs here. These just stay in the freezer. Um, and then I'm icing about two or three times a day. That just goes in this little pouch here. Wrap it round, as I say, about two or three times a day for about 15 to 20 minutes. Compression, well, I've got um, like these calf sleeves um, are really good just to keep on there all the time. And then I'll be using like my Normatec system, which is just over here. And again, that's just compressing, helping the blood flowing through the area. And then elevation, I've got my, this pillow, I'll link to all of this stuff down below, um, that my leg can sit in, leg just sits down there and obviously elevates it. So now I'm through that, as I say, we're four days post injury here. I'm gonna to start to do some strengthening in my calf muscle to build that strength up and repair that weakness. So that's going to be some assisted calf raises so that means I'll be holding myself to support myself there's not a chance I could do a single leg calf raise on my bad leg so just assisted so I'm taking a lot of the weight myself and then hopefully each day you can need to assist yourself a little bit less every time I'm then just doing some strength work um, just on the carpet here behind me with some resistance bands again just loading and unloading the calf muscle and then also I've got these uh, what's called like heel raises um, which you can put these in your shoes. They just slip in the back there and just give you a little bit more elevation to take a little bit more stress off the calf. This is really gonna be when I'm back running again, just to take a little bit more pressure off the calf muscle. And then in terms of returning to running again, well, my physio said, and I completely agree, when I can do 20 single leg calf raises, completely unassisted, and 20 hops, 
um, on the bad foot, then I can begin to start running again. That feels like a long way away at the moment, but I've been really happy with the progress we've made so far. So hopefully, maybe by the weekend, about seven to 10 days after the injury, we'll be doing some of those tests and then we should be able to get back running again early next week. If you wanna check out a video a lot better than anything I can make by um, a couple of guys I really like called Bob and Brad, I'll link that down below and I'll link to it up here as well. Um, they can just take you, know, proper physios take you through everything about repairing from um, car strains and things like that. So how are we sort of dealing with all of this up here mentally and everything? It, it sucks, it's rubbish, I hate it. I was in probably the best shape um, I've ever been um, going into this. I think for me, I don't really train to run fast times. I go running because I just love to run and that's what my running is all about. There's nothing you can do to completely eliminate injuries from your running. It just happens, it's part of being a runner. You just gotta put that plan in place and then follow that through. Get in touch with your physio, get in touch with your massage therapist, whoever it is, speak to some experts and put your plan in place and then follow it through and it's another little challenge a little bit like your running is a challenge this is a challenge and then you get it back together and come race day it will all come it will all come good and you run your time 219 whatever it is whatever your goal time is for your race um, you know it just will feel amazing so I haven't got any great like mind-boggling tips of how I deal with this I'm a positive person I always think things happen for a reason I can now give you some advice on healing from calf injuries yeah I want to be out running more than anything else in the world don't get me wrong uh, but we'll get back to that soon but the videos will keep flowing so don't worry we've got the Adidas review which we've already recorded before all of this happens the SL20 review will be up in a few days and yeah we've got some new shoes in the Adidas Invincible the Adidas Nike Invincible shoe has just dropped as well and we're going to do a full review of the alpha flies obviously i can't do these until i'm back running again um but they will be coming shortly and the ateru At how do you pronounce this guys uh this new super new budget shoe um will be will be testing that as well so yeah lots more content coming up as a final sort of thing thank you so so much for all the support you've given all the messages Oh, it's just kind of blow my mind. It's just a little nigger. We'll be back in a few days, but thank you so much for all those messages you sent through. I, I'm reading them all. I'm trying to get back to as many people as I possibly can. But yeah, this community is incredible. So thank you so, so much. We couldn't do it without you. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for following along. Thank you to the Patreon supporters over here the YouTube supporters over here. You guys are incredible. Everybody out there liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you so much. Merch on the website. We've got some new tees dropping very soon. Loads of cool new designs. We've got, yeah, just gone crazy. I'm so happy about this new stuff coming up. Right, my mum wants me. She keeps texting. So we'll see you guys in the next one.